that ain't the dullest knife. I don't know what is. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Man, I'm telling you, this is the knife. Look at it, it's still real nasty. Uh, this is the knife that I use during guide season to clean birds. Uh, different video coming at y'all today. I'll tell you, my wife Beth, <sighs> she uh, started sharing videos of our pet Mallard. Now, uh, I don't know where he's at at this moment. He's probably running the property. I don't know, being alpha over the chickens. He is crazy. He thinks he's became Fred. He thinks he's Fred, my dog, or Jax, or Sophie. Hi, Frederick, come here. He does. He thinks he's a dog. He literally lives with the dogs. And he's territorial. <laughs> oh, here he comes from the house, just marching down the grass. He'll be here in a minute, I guarantee it. The other day, it really opened my eyes. I was like, man, this mallard's getting crazy. The other day I was standing here and that mallard left the house and flew all the way down here at my feet waiting for me to feed him. And uh, since then, he will never leave any of us alone if you're outside. Uh, it's hilarious though. It's pretty cute and it's funny. Uh, we had mallard when uh, guide season was popping off. Mind you, boy howdy, I have a good video coming up. It's an update of the lodge and all the projects I got going on. Oh, here he comes. But during guide season, the clients thought he was pretty funny back then. Boy howdy, with age, he has just gotten more courageous. Where are you going, dude? What are you doing? This is this is him. He um, look. He's like, where are you going, dude? He'll peck at your feet. He, I don't know if it's territorial. Look, come on, Mallard, come here, come here, Mallard. Look, Frederick. See, correlation between the two. They're literally brothers. Watch, I'll start walking back here. He'll, he'll get after it. Come on, Mallard. If I stomp my feet. He'll come running at me. Oh, he gets mad. Oh, here he comes. Come on, dude. Come on. You want a box? Look, he's just pissed off. What are you doing? He gets mad. Look, he pecks me. Watch out, Mallard. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Whoa. Watch it, Mallard. Get out of here. Get out of here. So not only does he follow me everywhere like this. This is where I feed him. You can tell. Here's some of his corn that he's been munching on it doesn't matter where I go stop biting dude he'll go in with me come on Mallard come on that's why I had to put, get these buckets with tops on them because him he was coming in here eating all my stuff making a mess it's still a mess look look at all these nasty floors that's all because of Mallard yeah, not only is he crazy like that, but he sleeps in the garage now up at the house. He's got his own dog kennel and he goes in the back. I'm not kidding you. We'll do it at the end of this video. Stick around. He's gotten crazy. When the dogs go in for bed, he goes in for bed. But what I've been feeding the pigeons, which y'all have been asking about the pigeon trapping. That's why I just went and bought a bunch of feed as well. We're gonna start our pigeon trapping as well as y'all have been asking about my pigeons and this is their feed as well i'm just pouring it all and mixing it all right now y'all have been asking to see the pigeons i'll take you back there to see them in a minute but back to what i was originally saying my wife has been sharing videos of that crazy duck on her instagram and so I started doing it too, and people are just cracking up. He is funny. I, I don't, it's ironic too, you know, I'm a duck hunter and, you know. That's some dust right there. Oh, that's going to make me sneeze bad. Um, what we got going on is I've been using poultry scratch grain and poultry 18% all flock. Uh, they're like ground up little nugget stuff. Basically, it's this brown stuff in there. This right there, that's some 
grade A pigeon and chicken food right there. Speaking of which, we'll go ahead and go feed our pigeons. You guys have been asking to see them. But this mallard, look, here he comes, I bet. Watch, stomp the feet a little bit. He gets mad. He thinks I'm a big duck. His, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's mean, man. He's nice, but he wants to be alpha all the time. Get out of the way, dude. Jeez. Every time I try to feed pigeons, he ends up slipping in the doorway. Watch out, dude. Get back. Get back. Don't be going in there. Get back. Well, here we go. Hi, pigeons. How are you? You're going to like that stuff. Here's the pigeons. They're just doing pigeon stuff. Nothing new for them. What are you guys doing up there? Not a whole lot of going on. Not a whole lot new. Um, Y'all have been asking uh, if the pigeon trapping was actually going to fire up. And it is. It is. We're going to trap some. Um, I'm not going to, if I do trap them, if we do do it, I'm not going to keep them in my little loft here because old Jordan he had an issue with a bunch of them dying uh, because the feral one I got dust all over me the feral ones ended up having a disease and it spread through the whole loft so I don't want to kill my pigeons due to feral ones being nasty oh well, look who was in here uh-huh telling you he's wild that is one wild duck right there just running the whole place I'm telling you Freddy. heel heel Freddy Freddy Rico Freddy Rico oh here comes crazy mallard oh boy howdy oh boy howdy oh boy howdy don't you bite dude don't do it crazy goodness I can't go back and forth from the house without him doing that like I said I'm kind of scared of him he's always lurking around somewhere I'm not kidding man he's gotten a little out of control that's why I thought it was time to make a video what are you doing you're not supposed to be in here mallard and you stay out of my food go on get out of here I'm gonna shut it down for a minute and I'll, I'll prove to you guys uh, he'll end up at the house here in a little bit and when I let the dogs in to go to go to bed He's right there. He has his own kennel every day I lock him in the kennel every night lock him in the kennel next morning. Let him out with the dogs <laughs> Well, it's about 830. I'm getting the kids to bed just got out of the shower myself Well, hi there Frederick and Solf and Jax like I said, this is the this is the duck uh, dog kennel. Come on, Soph, watch out. Go on, you're blind. We know. Go on. <laughs> Look, she snaps at me. Go on. Go on. But uh, yeah, this is where the ducks stay. <laughs> watch. Come on, ducks. Let's go, Mallard. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Mallard. Let's go to bed. Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Don't nip at me. Go on. That's where he wants to be. Look. Nope. Nope. I'll go get your brother. The chicken's got to be in there with him. Man, he just bit my toe. Dude, you better quit. I'm going to kick you. Hi, guys. Hi. You be careful, okay? Oh, this has been a nightly ritual. The last week, the kids get on the quad and they see if Mallard's gonna chase them, and he does. Mallard is getting crazy. He's bossing everybody around. He's bossing Frederick around. He's bossing you around. He's bossing me around. He 
he's bossing the kids around. He's done scared the kids. Yeah, um, really funny, Harper, the other night. Or the other day she was pulling Bodie in the wagon and he came up and was pecking her and she like was traumatized screaming, Mommy, help me! And yeah. the duck was just like pecking at her. And that night she was saying her prayers and she said, Jesus, please help me with the mallard and save me. <laughs> Oh, uh, the mallard has gotten honestly insane. I, you guys gotta let us know what to do next. I sh guess I shouldn't ask what we should do next. They should be in a pen and not running around the yard. <laughs> we I have tried. Yeah, come so on. So bad. We spent a lot of time and money on the pen over there. Y'all were here. Y'all helped us build it, uh, and a lot of you were right. A lot of them said in the comments, they're like, that flimsy fence isn't going to do it. That's what you get for letting me go to TSC by myself and buy that. I didn't let you go. You went. You didn't even say why you were going. This is true. Well, that's the only way, not the only way, but that's how we get things done around here. I got to start the project so that Bob feels bad for me and comes saves me and finishes it just like right now. Yeah. <laughs> but Mallard, here he is. This is his territory. Uh, midday, late day. He got some good shadow going on here. Some good shade. Be careful, Daddy. I'll be careful. He's a dangerous mallard, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's crazy. Ah! Oh, he looks so oh, yeah. He don't look vicious at all. Usually, Daddy. look, they're freaked out by him. All right, go, Seth. You think he'll chase you? Nope. He don't care right now. See, it's, it comes and goes. In the morning when he hasn't seen me all night, he's real aggressive. And see, then, I didn't see it as aggressive. I never did until you were aggressive. like, he's getting pretty aggressive. Daddy? He's real aggressive. I think it's the toes. Oh, God, he bites. See, I think he's saying hi. I don't think it's high. I think it's a territory thing. I don't. It's definitely territory. Okay. Walk away. Test it. Walk away and see what he does. He chases me. Yeah. And he stays in front of me, and he and he stays dominant. That this is what this Here, is. Give me the camera. Guaranteed, it's dominant. Look at him. I promise you, it's dominant. We're trying to figure out why he's acting this way because, for one, he's not hungry. We feed him a ton. Number two, I, for a while, I just thought it was me that he was doing it to. Well, it kind of was you. He's and now like, it's everybody. He never really did it to me unless I was wearing like sandals see and yeah and he likes the flesh flesh yeah. he'll go after legs so and like, feet maybe he like thinks it's food that was my theory <coughs> and that he was just like kind of greeting you but no it's definitely dominance it's like territory this is his territory and you're in it the only time i see him getting like dominant like that is if he's like you walk away and then he kind of stands up and like flops his wings yeah, and it, like claims his territory it's all part of it he, it's all part i that's what I truly believe. He's gotten comfortable in his territory and now he's just dominant as heck because I feed him. I feed him all the time. So y'all gotta help us out. What is it? What do we need to do? Obviously we need to get him in the pen. We're gonna go get some stakes and stake down the bottom of that fence and try to keep him in there. I doubt that we can actually keep him in there forever yeah. with that fence. It's not a hard fence. Uh, but drop a comment down below. A lot of you guys have farm animals a lot of you guys have pecking ducks half mallard ducks whatever drop a comment down below if you guys have this issue because he hasn't only scared us all he scared the kids he scared the kids and then he just bugs us because it hurts when he pecks but he has ran off some mailmen i'm not kidding the mailman the ups guy yeah after his feet and they get back in their truck who needs a guard dog when you have a mallard? he is a guard dog seriously yeah I don't know, help us out, let us know. I just think it's really funny and I thought you guys would think it was pretty darn entertaining your, yourself because whenever she puts something or I put something on Instagram of Mallard going crazy, y'all seem to love it, so. I think he's just being loving. You think he's being loving? I do. I don't know about that. I think you're just, you're a loving soul that don't know any better. No. It's nature, honey, it's nature. He's a lover, not a fighter. He's not a lover. <laughs> he is. He is a fighter. In nature, everything's a fighter. Yeah, but I think he doesn't have his like life partner anymore. So maybe not that could be searching for that companion. Well, and, and like so when the dog went on a rampage back here, his partner 
got vominosed. And we've said that we need to get him another doctor. Is it because right he doesn't have a partner now? I know that's my that's my theory. It can he be. like he's got the chickens. It used to be just Bodie. Well, he follows Lenny around all but the time. But he still is dominant. He's dominant over them chickens. No. No. I don't think. Well, so. he tries to be dominant over us humans. <laughs> oh, Mallard! You just do whatever you want, man. Go ahead. Go do whatever you want. This is Preston's trailer, anyways. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you headed? You're gonna go out that door now. Okay, we'll see ya. Oh, I caught the little booger. You know how to catch him? The way to catch him, you make him mad, and I think I said it earlier in this video, you stomp your feet. Because every time he comes running, that's what he's doing, he's slapping his feet on the ground. You can just hear it going pop, 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 pop. And he's mad, he's mad. So every time I wanna pick him up or want him to come, I'll do that and he gets mad. It's an aggression thing. It's a dominance thing because that's how I just caught him. He was literally underneath that trailer. I went, he came out madder than a goat. Look at him. He doesn't try to peck you though now. Like. Hold on, Mallard. They got He's a little. On get his feather off of him. Clean him up. He's a good Mallard. He's just getting he's wild. Sweet. I just love him. I think he's. Kind of oh, really Mallard. Nice. If I you just bite think he my. Likes to eat. You feed him, so he's like. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, I don't know. If he bite, keeps biting my toes, we're going to have a problem. I don't want to walk. In the middle of night, I come outside, he's biting my toes. Daddy. Well, that's the next day. If you guys haven't dropped a comment down below and let us know what in the heck's going on with this duck, please do so. Stepping out first time this morning. Let's see what Mallard's up to. I'm sure that he'll hear me or see me and come running up. Um, there's been a couple of times now when I head out to the shop back here. Uh, that darn duck will take off up here like I told you and fly all the way to that door. Right when he lands, he's pecking at my feet. I don't know. I think it's a dominance thing personally. I think he's being territorial and uh, it hurts, <laughs> especially if you're in sandals. So any of my guests that come, you know, starts pecking at them. They're going, ow, 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 especially the women, you know, it hurts their feet and the kids. The kids don't know what to think about it. So let me know. Well, kind of worried, not going to lie. I don't know where Mallard is or the chickens. I can't find them. This is a first. I have no idea where they're at. They're usually literally right here. Uh, and this is where I throw all their food. Oh, I really, really hope that another coyote didn't come in last night. Fred, why don't you go look for Mallard and see if you can find him. Go on. You don't want to. Maybe Fred knows something. What's up, dude? Where's the birds at? But I'm going to get to looking around. Uh, oh, I'm hoping it's nothing bad. Uh, yeah, the pet mallard has gotten crazy, though, right? Um, don't know what to do with him. <laughs> I need to keep him in a pen. Hopefully I find him here and we can start keeping him in a pen. But the pen we built just ain't working. We tried to put, it in, put him in there last night. And make some adjustments to the pen but he won't stay in and he's pooping everywhere literally everywhere over all over the sidewalk all over the driveway it's really becoming an issue <laughs> i was i'm actually thinking about buying like a herd of mallards i found somewhere online uh you guys got to drop a comment and let me know about that as well if you want to see me buy a ton of mallards i think it'd be funny and we definitely have to buy a legit pen you know but i'm gonna get looking for the duck here Hopefully I find them. Hopefully you guys have a great day and um, enjoy the weekend to come. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I think the next video will go up Sunday. So, so before we get there, I want to go ahead and give all the mothers out there a big old Happy Mother's Day. Don't forget, boys, it's Mother's Day weekend coming up. You got to prepare. But until next time.